money. What do we got going on today? So it's day one of Italy. Yes. Well, for me, it's day two. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going out downtown. We meet yeah. the guy that um, the Duomo. And then we have about two hour guided tour, including Santa Croce, where we're going in. And then uh, free time for you, have a, hopefully have a great lunch. Yeah. And then we're going and visiting Duccio and the cooking place this afternoon. Boom. Boom day. <laughs> Welcome to Fonte de Medici. How was your trip? Awesome. Well, awesome. <laughs> Good. So, uh, before we go to the cooking class, I explain you a little bit of the area, okay? Because it's a special place. So, Antinori, 26 generations ago, they start to make the wine, the wine up on that hill. So, 26 generations is a little bit long time ago. So, right now, that hill is the hill where we're making uh, uh, Tignanello and Solaya. So Tignanello and Solaya, they are the wine that take 100 points on the wine spectator or the things uh, uh, on the wine list. So it's just that here. Uh, so it's part of the history of all the area. Tignanello is the wine that he make Tuscan, super Tuscan famous in the world. It's the first wine to become close to the Bordeaux wine. And uh, it's a really nice wine if you have it or if you have it in the future. Is uh, giving the flavor of our territory. And the cellar over there is the Tignanello cellar. It's the oldest cellar of uh, Antinori. So uh, the building up is new one, but on the bottom one is the old one. Uh, so most of this wine, the grapes, they are Sangiovese. Okay. But for make a Tignanello, you have to have 80% of Sangiovese, 10% Cabernet Blanc, and 5% of something else. That is a secret. <laughs> <laughs> So this is about the Chianti, this is about this, uh, this area. This is a Fonte de Medici where uh, we, we have the restaurant where you're going to have dinner after the cooking class. And just for let you know what you're going to do at the cooking class is going to be your dinner. <laughs> so be ready and be professional. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Now it starts to be a little bit tricky, the things. Eh? <laughs> so but it's going to be... Mario is the chef over here. I follow the cooking class uh, of uh, Fonte dei Medici. I'm working at the Estria Passignano. The Michelin restaurant is up there. And uh, plus I'm following and going around, a little bit kind of gypsy chef and moving around. <laughs> so don't worry, everything is gonna be perfect. Uh, so, have you done a cooking class before? No, you, don't say anything. <laughs> no, okay, that's gonna be fun. Okay, it's not pressure, it's just to relax and uh, feel the wave, okay? <laughs> of wine. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me. Hey, hey. Don't be shy, don't be shy. It's family, it's family now. <laughs>
day three for me again. <laughs> Uh, first we go to one of the most beautiful cities, Lucca, which is a walled city and the walls are from the 17th century. So I walk you through, we do a good stroll and then I finish with you guys at the former amphitheater, which is now a square with restaurants and cafes. So then you have free time there. Approximately at noon we are leaving Lucca and then we go into the countryside to have a wine tasting and oil tasting, what a surprise. Boom. And uh, then we're coming back to Florence, some free time and tonight is steak up. Fiorentina. <laughs> so looking forward to that. So we are outside of Lucca. Uh, we are in a villa which was uh, built in the 15th century. Uh, it was um, built from a very rich, um, um, how do you say that? Not, it was not a salesman, he was working in uh, the clothing industry. And he had also a little palazzo in Lucca where we uh, came from. And um, this was taken over then in the 18th century by the sister of Napoleon Bonaparte. So therefore, she brought a lot of uh, French products into here and therefore, uh, basically, the most of the wine they grow here is Merlot. 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 <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
beautiful Perugia. Uh, it's the capital of Umbria, which is the area here. And um, you just arrived, so you're on the guided tour. Uh, but before, we had a fantastic lunch in, uh, at the lake, Trasimeno. Uh, three course meal, we stayed there. I think everybody loved it, chilled, relaxed. And now you're going to uh, a last step where you have the most beautiful view on to uh, Perugia. And then later you have a free evening. And I hope you enjoy it. Call me. 